you know how to fly this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Captain Marvel slayed the box office yet again in its second weekend, raking in a further $69.3 million in North America and $119.7 million overseas for a mammoth worldwide total of $760.2 million. The global tally for the first female-led superhero pick from Marvel Studios and Disney now includes $266.2 million in domestic ticket sales and $494 million from overseas, and the pick is now safely on its way to earning $1 billion. The Brie Larson-led flick has already surpassed the overseas success of DC's 2017 girl power offering Wonder Woman, which scooped up $409 million. Meanwhile, Paramount's Wonder Park, which cost as much as $100 million to produce before marketing, opened in second place with a disappointing $16 million from 3,838 cinemas. On the bright side, the animated family pick had been tracking to take in only $8 to $12 million, but the movie is in danger of being a flop unless it fares better overseas and holds up exceptionally well in the US. Wonder Park, which features a voice cast of Jennifer Garner, Matthew Broderick, Mila Kunis, and Kenan Thompson, among others, launched in a handful of foreign markets with $4.3 million for a worldwide debut of $20.3 million. CBS Films' teen drama Five Feet Apart followed in third place with an estimated $13.2 million from 2,803 theaters, nearly double its modest production budget of $7 million, and with an A cinema score to boot. Elsewhere, participant media and Amblin's new thriller Captive State fell flat in its opening with $3.1 million from 2,548 theaters, in addition to bad reviews from both critics and audiences. When it comes to holdovers, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World came in at number four with $9.3 million for a domestic total of $135.6 million and $330.9 million globally. And Tyler Perry's and Lionsgate's Medea Family Funeral rounded out the top five in North America with $8.1 million for a total of $59.1 million. As for new fare at the specialty box office, Focus Features critically acclaimed The Mustang posted a location average of $18,950 from five theaters, while Fox Searchlight's post-World War II drama The Aftermath struggled in its launch with a muted location average of $11,500. And it was a bleak weekend for Idris Elba's feature directorial debut, Yardi, which opened in 77 theaters, amassing a location average of less than $300. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.